Item number SCP-6282 Security Level 2 Containment Class Euclid Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Caution Assigned Site Site 763 Site Director Dr. Catherine Huang Research Head Dr. Gabriel Le Felesquis Assigned Task Force Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures SCP-6282 is currently held in a SCP-6282 is currently held in a 10 by 10 meter containment cell augmented with tundalum carbide coating, which is capable of withstanding temperatures of nearly 4,000 degrees Celsius. Every wall to cell, as well as the speakers and cameras that have been installed in it, are covered in approximately 6 centimeters of this coating. In the case that a winter dance party event does significant damage to the cell, maintenance staff are to enter and make repairs as soon as the event has concluded. Foundation web crawlers are to consistently scan the internet for news concerning the death of published musicians. Any report of the musician's death, regardless of its likely accuracy, are to be immediately reported to Dr. Gabriela Vescaris, the current head of research into SCP-6282. Dr. Vescaris or any other researchers observing SCP-6282 are to broadcast the music of any artist whose possible death is reported to them over the speakers in SCP-6282 cell. This music should be played until all instances of SCP-6282-1 disappear. Description SCP-6282 is a collective designation for a number of objects formerly owned by Kurt Waller, a Dear College alumna and independent musician who was last seen on October 24th, 1971. SCP-6282 consists of the following objects. One photograph record of Waller's first album, February Make Me Shiver. One picture of Waller and his sister, Victoria Waller, in a 20 by 20 centimeter frame. One lighter, showing significant signs of wear, presumably from extensive use. Two packs of 20 Maverick cigarettes, both are opened and empty. Three bottles of Confusion Napoleon Brandy. Two are empty, one is unopened. One 1965 Fender Duosonic electric guitar in pristine condition. SCP-6282 displays a number of anomalous properties. For one, the aforementioned objects are perpetually consumed by blue flames, which are officially consistent with flames created by the burning of alcohol and copper chloride. However, these flames are significantly cooler than typical blue flames, which burn at a minimum of 3000 degrees Celsius. The flames covering SCP-6282 continuously burn at 1967 degrees Celsius, but do not seem to damage the objects. Despite extensive testing, no method of extinguishing the flames has been discovered. The death of any published musician will trigger a winter dance party event. During a winter dance party event, an entity emerges from SCP-6282. This entity, designated SCP-6282-1, resembles Kurt Waller and is composed of the same inextinguishable blue flames that cover SCP-6282. The entity will stand inert for approximately 8 minutes and 32 seconds. If music from the recently deceased artist is not played within this time frame, SCP-6282-1 will begin to multiply and grow in temperature. Instances of SCP-6282-1 have been recorded to reach temperatures of approximately 3,800 degrees Celsius for a period of 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Instances of SCP-6282 will attempt to spread out, seemingly to cover as much area as possible as they continue to multiply. 
Once 4 minutes and 11 seconds has elapsed, the instances will begin to violently explode. Addendum 6282-1 Investigation into Wallace's time at Deer College After extensive prodding, Deer College agreed to share details on Kurt Wallace's academic record. On March 4th, 1972, the college revealed that Waller had been a student from 1963 to 1968, majoring in art and minoring in ritual studies. Furthermore, Deer College also revealed that Waller's sister, Victoria Waller, attended the school from 1965 to 1967, but passed away on February 3rd, 1967, before being able to earn her own an art degree and a minor in music. Addendum 6282-2 Interviews with Waller's Parents Following the Foundation's discussions with their College, interviews were conducted with each of Waller's parents, Beep and Beep Waller. These interviews revealed that Waller struggled with mental health problems from a young age, and that these problems followed him into his adult life. According to Waller's mother, the loss of his sister was particularly difficult for him, and they heard from him less and less following Victoria's death. The last time Waller's parents had any contact with him was approximately August 1st, 1971, more than two months before his disappearance. Addendum C282-3 Track list of Waller's album Probably make me shiver. 1. A pink carnation and a pickup truck. 2. The gesture on the sidelines. 3. 8 miles high and falling fast. 4. The king was looking down. 5. Fire is the devil's only friend. 6. The church bells all were broken. 7. A generation lost in space. 8. Half time air. 9. Whiskey and Rye. 10. No time left to start again. 11. The last train for the coast.